When following any tutorial, check the lesson in the Visual Components Academy. And if the Download Files option appears, you can download the example files. Hello, hope you're doing great. Reza here. In this tutorial, we will talk about transport links in process modeling. We have already introductory course for process modeling in our academy, so please check that before doing this tutorial. I go to process tab and we have the product list, processes and flow. If I activate processes, we have a set of feeders that the product is created coming to from conveyor. I want to take them to stacks or the shelves using human resources and then take them to exit conveyors. So two conveyor process and they end up in sync process. While creating this product flow, I would also explain the transport link tools. So the clear links, auto link and set controller. Just for a warm up, I would go to flow. And right now you see there is nothing inside the flow steps. And as you know, the flow steps need to match the transport links in here. There are two ways to make the product flow using the process labels, which are these ones in 3D viewport to define transport links and process steps down here simultaneously. So if I use the label, it will be simultaneous. And the other way is defining transport links in 3D viewport and process steps down here separately. For example, let's make a many to many connection. So if I click over here on the label, you see that the transport node is selected, but there is a blue shadow also around the yellowish color of the node. That means that also the label is selected and there is a label also now down here and I click on the next label and then every process that was called from conveyor is going to be connected to every process that is named stack. And then I can for this step select here that I want the human transport controller to execute the part from stack to to conveyor. And this is many to many connection. So all the processes that were named stack, now they are connected to all the processes that were named to conveyor. This is still selected. So I click on the empty space to deselect this node. So this is many to many type of connection. And if I come here to transport link tools, I click on clear links. You have a flow group option. So I have just one flow group called flow group hashtag one. Three options I have here. I can clear all links, the unused links. So in case there are links that are not used here in the flow steps and they are just over here, they are not going to be having any effect on the product flow. So you can use these unused links to just clear your space. For example, if I select this very last two conveyor and I click over here on the label. Now it's just created this extra label over here. And then I click on sync, but I clicked on the note, not on the sync label. Let me just delete this one. And as you see, cause I clicked on the note, there is no process label in the flow step created. That means that these links that are coming to the sync process are not useful or not used in this simulation. So if I select over here in the free space, it will deselect the node. And then I say that clear the unused links. And when I click the button, look what happens. So all the links that were here are clean because they were not used, but obviously if I click over here and then click on sync label. Now two conveyor to sync are connected. And if I say clear unused ones, these are not cleaned anymore because they are actually used. There is a sync process as well. Or what I could do is to select 
clear all and then clear all the links in this flow group or if these implementers which are these icons having the resource doing this task right now is human blue group blue in this icons and here is interpolating meaning that the part will just fly between this point and the next one if these icons are fully empty and uh, those will be cleared but right now we don't have any of those so if i select the empty and press clear nothing happens but if i say clear all then all the links are cleared and as you see over here we have still the process flow so i can say i want to go from here to this node to this node and what i just did was is one to one connection so we did many to many and one to one and now we are creating the flow separately so the flow steps down here and the transport links up here in the 3d space i can also click here in from conveyor to stack and then it created this extra label down here we have to always watch it so that this flow matches the flow in the 3d world i would just clear this and the way to avoid it is actually going for stack i could also delete for example these two i need to click on stack where we are right now well i clicked on the label so that was not necessary let's say stack and now here and go to oh i deselected it now go to two conveyors so that's one to many connection from conveyor stack and we could go also many to one i'll show that later so if i press play just for the sake of trying it we have now people loading storages but as you see these ones are being loaded without them getting anywhere so i would connect now maybe deselect the point that is now selected and then click on if i go on this stack i would say many to one so only the stacks connect them to this to conveyor process and then i would just again check this delete okay now people are loading the shelves and unloading them based on the flow steps we have here and also the transport links that are inside the 3d world now what's missing here there are a few of the links missing but i don't want to create them one by one and i don't want to also start modifying things here what i could do is to go use the auto link tool and then come select the flow group and say that create links so all the missing transport links will be created for us automatically so press create and as you see all the missing ones based on this flow step are created so for example if i would have like one more transport link here and then here i would also add sync so grab the label and put it down here only one of these processes is connected to there and i still say in flow group one complete my links you see that all the extra transport links are created all the missing ones are now there too so we have a set of flow and a complete flow step here. And what I could say is also I can automatically set the controllers for the transport links. Click on set controller, say the flow group. You could say all flow groups or the specific flow group and the current implementer, please change it from human transport controller, which ever implementer that has human transport controller change it to interpolating transport you could also copy the property values 
and also in case there are any work statements inside the processes you can also change the implementer for those or the controller for those so now if I press change you can see all the flow group implementers went from human to interpolating which is just basically flying parts and human are there watching the production line just like that maybe we should start to give the guys some more job somewhere else or give their jobs back by just changing the controllers okay so we talked about different connection types with the transport links and also the transport link tools hope you enjoyed the tutorial try it on your side I would also leave this example layout next to the tutorial in our academy in academy.visualcomponents.com if you have more questions feel free to open the discussion in our forum forum.visualcomponents.com have a good one and bye for now <laughs>